Get daily updates directly to your inbox plus subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Could not subscribe. Try again later in valid email. It's a return to the John Smith Stadium today as Huddersfield Town take on Stoke City in this afternoon's Boxing Day Premier League clash. After two successful weeks on the road against Watford and Southampton, head coach David Wagner will be hoping his side's impressive home form doesn't let him down against the Potters. The encounter also marks the start of the second half of the season with the Terriers in rude health having already claimed 22 points from their opening 19 games. It's in stark contrast to a Stoke side currently lying in 14th place with many fans believing Mark Hughes' side are underachieving considering the talent at his disposal. Ahead of the game the examiner caught up with Dave Frith, editor of Stoke City Fans in the Oatcake, to get his thoughts on the goings-on at the Bet365 Stadium as well as his take on Huddersfield. Town season so far. Video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will start in 8 cancel play now. So what do you make of Stoke City's season so far? We've seen enough relegation seasons in our time to spot the signs and this has all the ingredients. Ahead of the West Bromwich Albion game, we had conceded the most goals in the Premier League have kept just two clean sheets all season and more worryingly have won just one of seven games. Swansea City at home, against teams who currently look as though they'll be in the relegation shakeup. We've conceded disastrous late goals to lose vital points. We simply don't have a clean sheet in us and the manager has no real idea how to turn a game around. Once it starts to go against us, is Mark Hughes really under pressure at the Bet365 Stadium then? Without doubt, polls on our internet forum and other Stoke City social media sites have well over 80% of voters believing Mark Hughes should be relieved of his duties and though the Stoke chairman Peter Coates publicly backed him after the debacle against West Ham United, it's difficult to see how he can survive long term. It is sad it's come to this Hughes was a breath of fresh air in his first couple of seasons. But he's drastically lost his way. There have been really good memories. Beating Liverpool 6-1. Victories over Arsenal. Tottenham Hotspur. Chelsea in the two Manchester clubs and being within a penalty shootout of a League Cup final. Appearance. Some of the football we played with the likes of Boyan. Steven Nazanzi. Marco Arnatovic and Jordan Shakiri in the team was as good as anything since the great 1970s. Team of Hudson. Greenhoff et al. Husey is the first manager since the 1930s to deliver three consecutive top 10 finishes in the top flight. But our performances have gone backwards at an alarming rate over the past couple of seasons. On top of that, his record signing, Janelli Mbula is out on loan to a French club, Sado Barahino, who Hughes chased for three or four transfer windows. HASNT scored a competitive goal for the club in the near 12 months he's been here in 18M. Defender Kevin Wimmer has been a major disappointment. Who is the player Huddersfield Town have to look out for? If Jordan Shakiri doesn't turn up, we've not got a lot else going for us sadly. Joe Allen will cover every blade of grass and Jack Butland is a quality goalkeeper who will go on to bigger and better things. But he's no miracle worker. What do you make of Huddersfield Town's inaugural Premier League season so far? It very much reminds me of our first season in 2008-09. Our away form was poor, but we turned the Britannia Stadium into a fortress and that was the foundation for our survival. So far, Huddersfield's only three home defeats have been against Spurs, Manchester City and Chelsea which is no disgrace of course, while the victory over Manchester United, as well as that superb win at Watford, will have been massive for confidence. So far, so good. Which town player would you like most like in the Stokes side? And why? I have to be honest. I've been too worried about the direction this Stoke City side is heading to pay attention to most teams in the league. 
Although Aaron Moo, I would probably improve us as he's a central midfielder with four goals to his name this season. Three more than our entire central midfield has managed between them so far. If you've got good full backs, they'd both probably get in our team as well. Any standout memories from previous meetings between the two sides? Older fans will remember Huddersfield were the visitors to the Victoria ground when Stanley Matthews made his return to Stoke in 1961. We were regular opponents in the late 80s and 90s and I remember a 3-0 victory on Boxing Day 1987 at Leeds Road, a repeat of which would be most welcome. There was also a good victory in 1991-92 when we scored two very quick goals in a 2-1 win. Though we've yet to win a game at the John Smith Stadium. The standout memory there was in 1995-96 when Kevin Kane saw his tame back pass hit a divot as our keeper Mark Prudo was about to clear his lines and trickle into the net. Huddersfield Town vs Stoke City All-time head-to-head record in West Yorkshire Score predictions An extremely optimistic 1-1 draw Where do you think Stoke City will finish this season? In town as things currently stand, it's going to be a long slog for Stoke. Much will depend on what kind of business we do in the January transfer window. Though our recent transfer recruitment doesn't really fill me with confidence either. I would take 17th now if you gave it to me. Regardless of whether Hughes is the manager or not come May, Huddersfield have to maintain their current home form to survive and sneak a few results on their travels to stay up. It will be tough, but there seems to be a good spirit around the place so I think they'll probably manage it.